Hello, fourth graders. Today is Tuesday, April 24th. Um, we are working on math unit seven, week or um, lesson five today. And we are solving number stories with mixed numbers. So we're continuing on our fraction journey today um, as we are tackling this together. Okay, so um, today our math workbook pages will be on pages 240, 241. But first we're gonna hear, start up here with a warm up. So it says, last week, Tamika practiced the trumpet two-thirds hour each day. What was the total numbers of hours that she practiced? So we're going to figure that out. So every single day, she practiced two-thirds hours. What was the total number she practiced? Well, how many days are there in a week? There are seven days in a week times the fraction two why I wrote the seven small is because the whole number seven, how we showed that and represent that means over one. Now we can multiply this out. So I'm going to multiply it out. I do the numerators times the denominator. So numerators, we times those by each other. Seven times two is 14. One times three is next is three. So 14 thirds is the answer to our equation. We can leave this as an improper fraction that is technically correct. However, it's best practice to turn it into a mixed number. So this is one answer, yes. So now we just think, how do we take 14 thirds? So how many times does three go into the number 14? Well, three times four is 12 which is, so if I did three times five, that would be 15 too many. So we think 12 my 14 minus 12 and three. So in order for us to use that 12, okay, and make it that four, we need to minus and take that much of those fraction pieces away. So 14 minus 12 is two. The denominator stays the same and we get to bring that whole number over here. So four and two thirds. Since I did some other circles, I'm going to circle my answer in a different color to show that that's really our answer. But is that completely our answer? No, because we forgot our label. The question was, what was the total numbers of hours you practiced? Four and two thirds hours, technically, is what we need for our answer. Can you please open in your workbooks to page 240 and we'll jump right in to question number one. Each member of the flute section of the Briar Woods Elementary School band practiced for two and three fifths hours last week. There are five flute players. So what is the total of the numbers of hours they practice? So we're going to do this number one together and you're going to do number four on your own later. So, in order for us to solve this, we need to write a number model with an unknown. Okay, so if you think about this, it says each member practiced for two and three fifths hours per week. So that's an important thing to know. I'm just going to underline the total that each member did. Then it tells us that there's five flute players. So what is the total number of hours they practiced? Well, a person could solve it by adding two and three fifths five times. So you'd say two and three fifths plus two and three fifths plus two and three fifths and so on. But we're going to instead use multiplication to help us easier. So we're just going to write our equation now. That would be five times the whole number two and three fifths. In your workbooks, that'll look a lot nicer. Equals with an unknown H, because their total number of hours. So to show two different ways to solve this story. Okay, so this first way, five times two and three plus one way is to turn this mixed number into an improper fraction, okay? 
So how we do that is we times the bottom, rotate ourselves up, and plus the top. So five times two is 10. And then two, oh, sorry, five times two is 10 plus three more would give us 13. fifths. So now we would just take five over one for our whole number that we have over here. We're gonna bring it over now times 13 fifths. And this is a way that we can solve it like that. So we go, what's five times 13? Well, in the corner, I might have to figure that out. 13 times five, five times three is 15, five times one is five, plus one more is 65. Oh, 65 fifths, okay? And then from there, we figure out how many times does five go into 65? Well, five goes into 50, 10 times, leaving me with 15 more, five goes into three. Uh, five goes into 15 three times. So 10 plus thir three is 13. I'm gonna change my color, 13. Was 13 hours. Okay, so that is one way. I'm going to erase this way and show you another just so our page isn't so messy. Okay, another way to solve our equation is just kind of, um, here we go. Okay, so I just broke it down. So two and three fifths would be the same as two holes and then three fifths on the side. So if I break it down like this, so five times two plus three fifths, then what I'm gonna do is I'm going to just take five times each of those pieces. So the first one would be five times two, and then we'll add whatever five, times two thirds is. So whole number five, we'll take care of that in just a minute. So five times two is how much? Class, take yourself, say it out loud now. Five times two is 10, okay? Now, in order for us to get the two thirds piece of it, a whole number, we put over one. So now five times two again is the same thing plus Ten. Okay, three times one, we multiply our denominators together, is three. So now we have 10 plus 10 thirds, and we have to change that improper fraction into a proper fraction or a mixed number, I should say. Okay, so we've got the whole number 10 and 10 thirds. How many times can three go into 10? It can go in there three times. So 10, so three times three was really nine. So 10 minus nine in the numerators there is, leaves us with one third plus 10. Okay, so when we add all that together, it gives us 13, so 10 plus three and one third is 13 and one third hours. How many minutes is that? Oy. Okay, we've got to figure that part out now and that's going to be the tricky, another tricky spot here. So we're going to give us some space. So 13 times, well, how many minutes are in an hour, folks? Think to yourself. Sixty. Okay, so if I go thirteen times sixty, zero. Zero times three is zero. Zero times one is zero. Okay. When we move on to the next line, we cross it off and we put it below. Okay. So six times three is eighteen. Six times one is six plus one more is seven. So 780 minutes is 13 hours per 13 minutes, excuse me.
Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I need to apologize. I accidentally copied my equation wrong. So instead of 15, or sorry, instead of the answer being 10 thirds up here, it really, I copied the equation wrong. And maybe you would have caught that already. Um, and this happens sometimes, it really is three fifths. So I need to go five times three fifths. So I'm gonna erase back up and keep going. Cause that happens sometimes to you guys too. So I just wanted to show you, I realized I made a mistake. Okay, we backed it up, here we go. So five times three is 15. Okay, and then one times five is five. How many times can that go in there? I'm going to 15 three whole times. So our answer is actually 13, just like we saw above. Okay, so now we're back down here. 780 minutes plus zero is 780. And we used that already, so that still was fine. So I'll rewrite that on my answer for D. So how many seconds is 780? Wowzes. So I'm going to erase this again. And we need to take 780. So how many seconds are in a minute? Well, how many seconds are in a minute? 60. 780 times 60. So zeros all the way across on the first line. Now we're ready for our second line. Six times zero is zero. Eight times six is 48. Seven times six is 36. Plus four more is 40. So 40,800 seconds. That is a lot. Oh, sorry, seven times six is 42, plus four more is 46, 46,800. I accidentally went six times six in my brain. Okay, now we are ready for these other ones. I'm going to have you pause, answer numbers two and three, and see if you can get her. So three times, Three and two tenths. So I'm going to solve this three times three plus three times two tenths. Because that's the same as breaking it up. The three and two tenths is what I broke up here to the whole number three and two tenths. So it's three times three is nine plus three over one. So six over. 10. So our answer is 9 and 6 tenths. Okay, our next one, 2 and se times 7 and 2 times 7 tenths. That's how we'll break it up. 2 times whole number 7, we brought it down. Now 7 tenths, we're bringing over here. We have to multiply that number as well. Okay, 2 times 7 is 14. Whole numbers we put over one, two times seven is 14 tenths. Can't leave it, so we gotta work it out. So the number 10 goes into 14 one time. So minus 10, 14 minus 10 is four tenths. And then 14, so our answer is going to be Fifteen because fourteen plus one and then four tenths. So fifteen and four tenths is what you'll put on the top there. Okay, your turn for your homework today is to go over and try page two hundred forty-one. It's exactly like how we did on page two hundred forty. Okay, we'll talk to you guys later. Bye.